Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Only say the son of Ngobe is my name. And I want to specifically talk to those who are on the ZEP, who have applied for their waivers and have been given a positive outcome and now have applied for the general work visa or any other form of visa which they feel they qualify for and have booked their appointments who now want to understand some of the documents that they have to produce uh, at the VFS global offices as they call for their appointment and I'm responding specifically to this because I've been called and sent messages of inquiry by many people who have been stuck at this point and others who have been referred back or turned back from the VFS offices before they could even submit their documents because they are told that they have not submitted enough documents or there are some documents missing. So this is what I want to talk about. But before I go ahead, may I request that you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it because you may not know there are many people out there who require this kind of information who may drag you back as you ask for more kind of information because as long as we keep getting more people asking this same question it means that they would have missed our earlier videos and you will have no choice but to come back and address them while the one question that you might have which might have been asked by only you might be forgotten in that avalanche of many questions that are similar to the one that we would have addressed before so that is the reason why we mainly request that you forward these videos share these videos with other people so that we avoid a situation whereby because of the higher number of questions they ask compared to you alone we might end up having to repeat answer these similar questions so the the main 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 uh question that has been asked in as far as the kind of documents that have to be submitted pertains to some letters that your employer is required to write for you you will see for those that have already applied for their permits and are going to submit that there is a, a document which says you need to have a written undertaking by the employer accepting responsibility for the cost related to the deportation of the applicant and his or her dependent family members should it be necessary. That's the first one. Then there is a written undertaking by the employer to ensure that the passport of his or her employee is valid at all times for the duration of his or her employment. Number three, an undertaking by the employer to inform the director general should the applicant not comply with the provisions of the act or conditions of the visa. And then number four, an undertaking by the employer to inform the director general upon the employee no longer being in the employ or such of such employer or when he or she is employed in a different capacity so these are the documents that people have been confused about for which several people have been referred back or turned back from the vfs offices and they are asking if this is supposed to be addressed in one letter or it must be several letters uh, addressing these particular concerns. So now, what I can tell you for certain is that these are four different letters which must be written by your employer. They must be in the company letterhead and they must be signed by the human resources uh, officials of your company or by your employer for those who already work domestic work uh, or those that work for individuals so you need to write a specific letter 
not you your employer must write a letter specifically speaking to their undertaking that they will accept responsibility for the cost related to your deportation together with that of your dependent family members those who depend on you that will be listed in your application for a permit should it become necessary that is should you be um, given a visa and because of one reason or another that visa has been revoked and you have to be sent back home or should you be denied a visa and you are required then to pack and leave South Africa at the expiry of the current visa. Then the second one, a written undertaking by the employer to ensure that the passport of his or her employees is valid at all times for the duration of his or her employment. That means you have been granted the general work visa or the critical skills visa or any other form of visa that you applied for, but during that duration, your passport is expired for those that go there to VFS or to collect their visas with uh, less than four years remaining on their passports and then the passport expires but the permit is valid you your employer needs to have that on record so that they will tell you that you know what you know what go and get a new passport should you defy that and your passport expires during your time of employment your employer must uh then keep you uh, within the comforts of the law having a valid passport they must make sure that your passport is always valid it is up to them so they must make this undertaking that they will always ensure that your passport is valid during the time of your employment with them then an undertaking by the employer to inform the director general should the applicant not comply with the provisions of the act or conditions of the visa so you get given your visa there are conditions that are written or attached or affixed to the visa that you cannot do a b c d maybe you are employed as a driver and the conditions of your visa for example say you cannot work any other work or perform any other duty other than being a driver so your employer must always must make this undertaking in written form to inform the director general should you not comply with the provision with the provisions of the immigration act or the conditions of your visa so if this is an undertaking that your employer must make again in written form it must be put in black and white an undertaking by the employer to inform the director general upon the employee no longer being in the company of such in the employ of such an employer or when he or she is employed in a different capacity or role so should you be uh, should you serve ties with the company under which you obtained your general work visa it is the duty of the company to inform the director general of home affairs that we are no longer employing Olise Ngube, who is under a general work visa or a critical skills visa or any other form of visa based on a previous uh, indication that he was under employment with this company. So therefore, he is no longer working for us he is no longer our employee they must inform the director general oh we have we had employed Mkholis Ngube as a, a driver but now because of the qualifications that he has now obtained we have elevated him to a human resources manager or a, a supervisor of other drivers this is an undertaking that your employer must make that should you uh, leave the company should the company expel you or should you be given a different position from the one under which you got your visa they 
will inform the director general of home affairs so these are four letters there are four different letters that must be written by your employer clearly speaking to each of these undertakings then they must be signed and of course they must be in a company letterhead and include the contact details of both the company and the immediate boss who signed the, the letter. I hope this is clear. But where you don't understand, please feel free to contact us. We will clarify. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. Thank you.